The Anpro 2 has been one of the most recommended 60% mechanical keyboards for the last two years. And for good reasons. It is a feature-packed keyboard and offers a lot of value for the price. However, apart from not having hot swap switches, one of the main complaints with this keyboard is that it doesn't have a standard screw layout, so finding a replacement case is not easy. It's something I've tried in the past, but standard cases will only have two screw holes matching, and you'll likely have to get rid of the battery, effectively losing the wireless feature. But I was recently scrolling AliExpress and came across a new aluminum case, specially made for the Ampro 2. It looked really good in the pictures, and given its shape and design, it sort of reminded me of the Apple Magic Trackpad, especially since the Ampro 2 has a white top plate. So I ordered one and a matching set of blank white keycaps with a cherry profile. And here we are today, upgrading my own Ant Pro 2 with these parts. But before going further, please hit that like button for the great mechanical keyboard content. I'm always stoked to get your feedback when I release these vids. Okay, let's go. So I started by removing all my keycaps. This Ant Pro 2 has Kalebox brown switches, Overall, I like these, but they're the first gen of Kalebox switches, and the stems are a bit too thick, which can cause cracks in keycaps, especially ones made from ABS, so I avoid installing expensive keycaps on this board for that reason. So now with the keycaps out of the way, I proceeded with a cleanup. This keyboard has been used as my daily driver for some months before I had switched to the Durkot Venus, and it's quite dirty. So, after removing most of the dirt with a small brush, I manually cleaned the plate with alcohol and a rag. I then removed the five screws holding the plate in the case. These screws have a Torx T5 head. Then I unplugged the battery, as it's held with pretty strong double-sided tape at the bottom of the case, and I finally removed the battery by pulling hard. So, to the case. It came in a blank black box, since I ordered the keycaps in the case from the same seller on AliExpress, both items were in the same box. Apart from the actual case, you also get additional screws and rubber feet to stick under the case, which I proceeded to install to prevent scratching my tabletop. Looking at the case, it looks really nice. The overall finish is even and looks very clean, no scuffs nor machining marks. It has fairly sharp edges, although it's not dangerous or anything, and looks pretty good if you're into that style of case. There is a cutout under it for the on-off switch, and same thing at the back for the Type-C port. It also has a recessed section for the battery, although much wider than the stock battery, so you could likely get a larger one in there, even in the non-recessed section as the screw standoffs are pretty tall. So really cool case overall. So I went ahead and removed the pre-installed screws from the case. These have a Phillips head instead of a Torx T5. I then reconnected the battery to the Ampro 2's PCB and tried installing it in the case. Only thing is, the provided screws are way too short and don't even reach the threads. So I went back to the original T5 screws and fortunately they're the same size and use the same thread as the new case. It's a bit weird that the included screws don't even work, maybe that's because I have one of the first versions of the Ampro 2 and the newer versions have larger holes in the plate or something like that. So I did all five screws, making sure the plate was perfectly centered for the cleanest result. As you can see, the Type-C port is dead center in the cutout, so it should accommodate pretty much any cable. I like to use magnetic MagSafe-like adapters, and the one I use fits in there no problems. Then in terms of fit and look, it's almost perfect. You can tell that it was made for the Ampro 2, all the gaps are even, and a perfect match with the plate. Compared to the original case, it's thicker at the front, but slimmer at the back, so the angle is not as pronounced. Overall, it looks very good in my opinion. The cutout at the back is unfortunately not deep enough, so you need a thin object to turn on or off the keyboard for switching between wireless and wired, which could be a deal breaker if you plan to use the keyboard wirelessly, as you likely want to turn it off overnight. So now to the keycaps. This is a full-size set with both ISO and NC layouts, so many of these keys will be left unused, given that we only need to cover a 60% NC layout. These are supposedly PBT, but I find them quite shiny for PBT keycaps, and they have a decent thickness at 1.5mm, but the material is a bit weird in my opinion. I went with these as they were the only white keycaps with a cherry profile and without a Windows key that I could find, 
given that I wanted to go with a keyboard that matches the Apple Magic trackpad. Overall, they are okay for the price, as they sell for 33 bucks. So I went ahead with the installation. And here's a look at the final result. Looks pretty good in my opinion. I'm glad there is now an option for an aluminum case for the AM Pro 2. It's not too expensive either, at around 65 bucks. although you could argue that the mod costs as much as the keyboard. Oh well. The only thing I wish for was that it was a bit thinner. It could have easily been done given how tall the standoffs are, and I think it would have looked a bit better in my case. It's quite chunky as it is, although it would probably look great with SA keycaps. So before ending this video, here's a little sound test to compare how it sounds before and after the mods. So that wraps it up for today. I'll have links to the part I used in this video if you want to make something similar with your own AMP Pro 2. And if you do, please let me know down below if you like the final result. As always, thank you for watching. Make sure you leave a like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe if you still haven't already, as I'll see you in the next video.